Everybody loves to go up high. It's almost an innate human desire to get up high and enjoy the view, to see the landscape stretched out beneath you like a carpet. It's a beautiful sight. There's nothing of this height that is this thin, and it is that feature which really drives the design. We've sort of got the band back together really, who did the London Eye. We've got a fantastic team of very, very skilled engineers and contractors all coming together to make something that's never been done before. We're absolutely thrilled. It's been 10 years in the making and finally we've got something very tangible to show for it. <laughs> I think that we will see an ongoing increase in tourism and the i360 coming to Brighton has only got to be good news. You're just starting to get a sense of what the height will be. If you can imagine all these cans that we can see here laid up all together going up into the sky, it's going to be an incredible sight when it's finished. I'm from this area and I think that the i360 will be fantastic. I think it's a wonderful landmark. I think something um, good for Brighton really. The quality of the workmanship, the fluidity of the glass. You can look at the renders and the drawings, but not until you see it in reality do you realize how amazing it really is. What we're doing is we're reconstructing two new toll booths, and they'll be sitting at the same location as the previous toll booths. So many connections with Brighton uh, and with Sussex. Obviously, just up the road at Gatwick, we're flying 67 destinations around the world. So many of our staff live in this area. So many of our customers come from this area. It's just a really natural fit. It's a fantastic day, I can't tell you how lucky we feel.